Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 19. Home on the Range Rovers, our FM20 save with Forest Green. So, back-to-back -back promotions. We've made it to the championship. Uh, I threw up a Twitter po uh, question. Uh, we got approached by Cardiff. I went to the interview. They offered me the job. And I turned it down. Uh, actually, three of you guys responded, and I do appreciate that very, very much. Uh, one of you said, take the Cardiff job. One of you said the Cardiff job looks fun, but may, you know if you like your squad, stick with Forest Green. And the other one was basically up in the air, whichever you want to do. So nobody said stay at Forest Green. Two people basically said go to Cardiff. Um, but I went back to the earlier question that I asked more at the beginning of the save. And a few more people had responded to make it a solo team save. So I went ahead and made the decision. It was gut-wrenching. It hurt. Um, everything in my being said, take the job at Cardiff. But uh, I'm still a four screen and uh, plan to be here for the foreseeable future. Um, we actually got offered several jobs. Cardiff was the... Uh, Cardiff was the job we got offered. They offered me a contract. Uh, Fleetwood earlier had offered me an interview. I turned it down. Who else? Uh, Wigan. Wigan came and offered me an interview. I turned it down because I was already dealing with the with with the uh, Cardiff situation. What I did is I I put the uh, Cardiff. I stalled for a week just to be able to advance some. Wigan came in. Told them I wasn't interested. And then I got an uh, interview request from, uh, I forget the name of the team, but it was from uh, Greece. It was the Greek uh, Super League, uh, so their top division. Um, and I turned that one down too. Uh, so we're still at Forest Green. Taking a look, uh, we've just closed out the transfer window. Uh, so let's take a look at transfers. Then we'll get into the opening match of the season. I believe we open with Watford, who has a payroll of 63.9 million. Uh, Southampton at 80.9 million, top of that table. And uh, Fulham at 49. Uh, continuing down, Leeds at 32. And if we go way to the bottom, there's Forest Green at 5.16 million. Uh, the next closest one is right at $10 million with Rotherham. It's going to be a long season. It's going to be a long season. Uh, transfer window roundup. Uh, we were the most active team with uh, 18 players swapping around. And uh, let's see, Watford had the highest, uh, most expenditures at $36 million. The highest was Juan Hernandez uh, leaving Watford to Norwich for $37 million. Uh, Southampton to West Ham for $33 million, and a winger, Ivan Cal Calavero, from Fulham to Sheffield United for $29.5 million. I believe Norwich, Norwich is in, uh, yeah, they're the premier, Sheffield is still in, so those are all premier level squads. Uh, if we take a look at the transfer deadline day, we did not make any deals. Uh, and you can pause that and look around. Let me know if you guys can read this or if it needs to be blown up a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure how it comes across on the video. It looks like it's okay, but um, again, my old eyes uh, and the background doesn't help me at all. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's not good for me. But uh, anyway, there's all your transfer deals. Uh, we did make a couple of deals, but let's take a look at the overall transfers for us. Uh, so we sold out 1.2 million in players, uh, spent 550,000. So we had a net income, which we needed to do. Uh, we had already, uh, let's see. So David Titov, a right back, goes out on loan to Chesterfield. Matty Stevens, one of our reserve strikers, goes to Partick Thistle for 61,000. 
Uh, a couple of guys on freeze. Lloyd Jones goes to Millwall for th up to 375000 He was a center back. Not bad. Good ratings. Still young. But he was 25. Wasn't going to play a ton for us. Uh, if we look last year, five starts, 11 bench appearances. Played well, but not cracking our starting lineup because we haven't lost any players at center back. So I uh, felt we could move him. Didn't get what I wanted for him. I was hoping to get, you know, eight or nine hundred thousand, but um Bill Wall's in League One. So hmm, that's pretty funny. Um as a Leeds fan, that's hilarious that Millwall's in League One. That's great. Um anyway, Orlando Thomas. He was one of our highly rate most highly rated uh players coming in through our youth academy. Just was never gonna cut it. Three star and you can see his his rating there is 36 three star potential just was never going to develop he leaves on a free a uh, couple more guys Ethan Galbraith uh he was uh he was a guy that I was loath to let go but I was able to make a couple of moves that made him expendable he goes to Larn for 450,000 he's actually a very good player uh, again we picked him up on a free last year and he only made five reserve appearances. So, uh, again, that's why he was expendable. Position that I had depth, wasn't going to crack it, and we were able to make a nice little profit on him. Again, I wanted a little more, but couldn't do it. Uh, Lewis Thomas was the uh, reserve keeper for us. Um, came up through the Swansea system. We picked him up on a free my first year, and we sell him on to field. Filed field. I'm going to go field uh, for 37, potentially up to 46 and a half. Uh, Josh Marsh, one of our uh, strikers deep in the in the rotation, uh, goes to Shrewsbury on loan. They're picking up 100% of his salary and $15,000 a month on a loan fee. So we'll generate a little income there. George Williams hated to get rid of him. Just Ah, you know, he was such a jack-of-all-trades, but we sent him to MK Dons for $130,000. he had been here for a while. Uh, predated me, I believe. No, I picked him up my first year uh, on a free. And, uh, yeah, so he returns to MK Dons, uh, who sold him to Fulham for an undisclosed amount back in his uh, early days. So we, we picked him up on a free, made a nice little profit on him. Uh, he wasn't worth a lot. Uh, Cameron Pring, we signed him recently, uh, last year, year before. He goes out on loan to Exeter. They pick up 100% of his salary. And Cameron Stanley, uh, he was a striker that we had, and uh, we had picked him up on a free. Thought he had some upside. Never played a match for us. So we sell him on to Hull for 38 and a half. He, they're in the championship, so we may see him this year. So there's the moves. We net $1.2 million on that. Uh, you can see the freeze. Adam Hutchinson, Scott Wharton, uh, we brought in on a free. Uh, Janiel Bennett, and we've tried to loan some of these guys out. Uh, but uh, let's see. There's Hutchinson, center back. Uh, he's 18 years old. He can actually play now, but he's going to be in the depth chart. Uh, so he's probably going to be in our U23 side. Scott Wharton, uh, left back, might actually start for us. Uh, he, got, he joins us on a free from Blackburn. Uh, so we can look at him a little closer. There you go. Uh, Three-star current ability, five-star potential, 23-year-old Englishman. And he looks pretty good. Like him a lot. Janiel Bennett from Tottenham comes in on a free uh, he can play both wingers. Uh, he can also drop back to the mid midfield wingers. 19 years old, more for the future. C.J. Egan Riley, also a future player, 18 years old. He can play all three defensive positions. Mazid Ugun Ugungbo. Gumbo. No, not Gumbo, Ugungbo. He's, uh, where's he from? I can't read that. He's I that's an Irish name. Okay. Not sure what universe that is, but let's see. Oh, Nigerian. Okay. I knew there was something there, but he is he is Irish and English. Interesting. So he's got three nationalities. 
uh, capped at U19 for the for the for Ireland. Good deal for him. Uh, but he comes in on a free from Arsenal. James Trafford a free from Man City. Uh, also 18. A lot of these guys are young players that uh, probably won't feature for us anytime soon. Uh, this guy might. We paid 275000 which was a club record transfer. The previous uh, record high was $100,000. Uh, but he comes in from Parma, three-star current, just three-and-a-half star. He was actually four-star uh, potential when I was looking at him. But uh, he can play right back. He has good crossing and uh, not a bad little signing, I don't think. Uh, he's been out on loan for a while from the Parma group. But he actually played uh, 31 matches in the league for Parma uh, in Serie A D uh, several years ago. So looking forward to seeing what he can do. Uh, Tite uh, comes in for 200000 Also breaks the uh, transfer record, but... Uh, not officially because it came a couple of days after Reese signing. Uh, he comes in, in from Oeste, a two-star current, four-and-a-half potential. Uh, he is a Brazilian and uh, striker, winger, and uh, just like the looks of him. And you can't go wrong signing a skilled Brazilian player. Uh, Worst-case scenario, we might sign, you know, be able to sell him down the road. Uh, Dominic Ball. I don't know what save I had him in, but I do recognize the name. So he's a guy that I've had before, uh, 25 years old, English, three-star current, four-star potential. He could play central mid, defensive mid. He can also drop back to the back line, uh, six feet tall. So he could, he could do the job at center back, including being a uh, ball-playing uh, defender if we wanted him to. Uh, so he's going to probably, I don't know if he's going to start, but he's going to be in the mix. Uh, we had sold the keeper over here, and it was because we brought in Nicholas T uh, from Chelsea on a free. And he is going to challenge for the number one spot. Uh, probably not this year, but uh, he'll be the number two, uh, the deputy this year. But I see him being our number one maybe a year or two from now, if we're still in the championship. If we get to the premier, all bets are off. We're going to be having to sign some players that can actually play at that level. Uh, Mason Jones Thomas, a free transfer just for depth. Uh, we do uh, bring in um, Bilal Uld Cheeky from uh, Den Haag in uh, the Netherlands, 7.5. I believe it's the Netherlands. He is Moroccan. Two and a half star current, three and a half star potential. Yeah, from Holland uh, in the Arita Vise. And, uh, you know, I don't watch a lot of their matches, but I, whenever we wa I watch uh, like World Cup and, and Euros and stuff, I'm really a big fan of Holland. Probably my fourth, uh, fourth team on the uh, depth chart of squads that I pull for uh, behind the U.S. Uh, team, Brazil, England, and uh, then the Dutch. So uh, anyway, we picked him up. We are paying a fee for him. I kind of wish we wouldn't have done that, and I couldn't uh, cancel the uh, the loan. But uh, so that's why we made a couple of other moves, like for Williams, uh, to kind of force this guy up the depth chart a little bit. Alberto Balde comes in on a free again, 19 year old striker. He's going to need to develop four star potential. Uh, then we renewed the loan for Marin Pilge, so he returns from Leeds. They didn't want to do it last year or early in the transfer window, but late in the transfer window, they uh, evidently had taken a look at him, decided he wasn't going to make their first team, and uh, they were happy to send him back to us. He's not making a lot of money, so 61000 a year, and you know he started a ton of games for us last year, uh, so he is back. I wanted to kind of look at improving the striker. Um, this was about the point that we had lost Bristol City as our senior affiliate. And so we did approach the board and we asked for a new affiliate. They rejected us at first. I kind of said, hey, you know, I'll make sure we don't go off the rails with loan players. And we haven't. We've only signed a few. Uh, but uh, so they said, OK. And then they came back. And uh, so we'll look at the affiliate here in just a minute. You may recognize some names or you may, oh, let's close that. I don't want you to see it. Don't scroll back and look at that. 
let it be a surprise. So Adam Ida comes in from Norwich on loan. Uh, he is a 20-year-old striker, Irish. Uh, 17 pace, 16 acceleration. Damn, he looks good. And we may end up playing two up top. I haven't decided yet. Um, so I like Ida a lot. Samuel Adozi comes in on loan from Man City. Uh, we needed another right winger. Very pacey. Uh, only two-star current for those ratings. I was a little stunned. Crossing is excellent, so hopefully he can do a job out there for us. I do expect to see him playing a little bit. Uh, this guy, Bright Anobacher, just a guess. He's valued at just under a million. We got him on a free three-and-a-half-star current, four-and-a-half-star potential. Uh, he came up through the Wolves Academy and has been with them for a while. He's got starts in the championship and uh, did not play last year in the, the last two years in the Premier. Uh, actually made one reserve appearance, but he'll be back in the championship with us this year. And I really like the looks of him. Uh, he can play a lot of positions down the spine and out wide on the right. Uh, Joel, I don't know. Lada Boudier, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, two and a half and four. Uh, we pick him up, and that's on a free. He came up through Man City, never played, went out on loan to FC20, and uh, so we pick him up. Uh, don't don't think he'll do a ton. Uh, he's more for the future. We'll see if he'll develop a little bit or if we can sell him for a profit. Another free is Tunji Akinola. And he is a center back, six foot two. I think he could slot in for us right now. Passing's not really there, so he'd just be a central defender. And uh, he came up through West Ham, uh, got released. And he, these were guys that we had brought in on trial after you know national release day. Uh, Aaron Drew comes in on a free right back, similar situation, QPR, and we picked him up on a free. He never played. And then we made one last signing. We actually tried to get three players from these guys, but we signed a senior affiliate agreement with Liverpool. Just a little bit of an upgrade over Bristol City. Not much, not much. There's there's the talent, you know. I mean, it's it's give or take, you know. What's the old saying? Six of one, half dozen of another. Yeah, you know, we're, we're cutting it razor thin here with the uh, – with the ability level of some of these players. But uh, this guy looked good. You know, we figured we'd, we'd give him a shot. He, he's only valued at $3.3 million. Four-star current ability, five-star potential ability. I think, I think he'll, he'll, he'll do the job for us. So, uh, you know, uh, they sent him out to Shrewsbury in League One last year. He, pl he played 30 matches, four goals, seven assists, a seven, a seven rating. So it's a step up in level to, to uh, the championship with us this year. Uh, so hopefully, and again, we did make uh, a request for a few more loans, but every single one of the players rejected us. They accepted, Liverpool accepted, uh, no salary as a senior affiliate, but they all went elsewhere. I don't think we've got anything else outstanding. Yeah, he rejected us. He's coming in next year. He's leaving us mid-season. Waiting to see if he's going to go to Dover. Uh, Janiel Bennett's got several offers. So if we take a look at the team report and depth chart, uh, let's see, we're going to take a look at just three stars so here's our main player so we have Ida and Collins up top Freer Collins Hunter and this in on the right uh, white and pills back in the middle with Ibu Adams backing them up Adams could play in that number th uh, that uh, defensive mid ball slots in there as well so I probably see ball starting Adams coming off the bench in all three spots uh, Wharton and Rick, Richie on the left, uh, Williams, the Loney, uh, replacing Shepard on the right, Rawson and McGinley back in the middle with Kitching backing them up, Wharton there for depth if we need them, and O'Malley still in goal for us. 
thought O'Malley was going to get a couple of offers, but uh, didn't happen. So, and if we go down under three stars, so then we bring in Hunter, Kai Kennedy, uh, Tite, um, some of the lone players out on the left, uh, Ball moving up into the midfield there. So I don't know, maybe Adam starts and then Ball can be off the bench in some of these positions. Uh, but anyway, uh, and then there's Trafford, uh, the young Englishman that we brought in. Uh, so, yeah, uh, well, the new guy we brought in, he's going to probably start in the U23s this year, and then we'll look to get rid of uh, Trafford or O'Malley next year and move the move this younger guy up. Uh, I think we only promised him cup ties next year, so he'll play some of the cup action, uh, assuming we're in any cups. Uh, taking a look at competitions this year, uh, we're going to be in the third round of the FA Cup. They just want us to be competitive. And the first round against Petersboro in the Carabao Cup, they do want us to reach the second round. Taking a look at the championship preview. Uh, they're not thinking very highly of us here, guys. Uh, 24th position. Uh, we are the one of the three promoted sides uh, slated to be relegated, along with Luton and Petersboro. We are 100 to 1 long shots. Not good, not good. Uh, so, my reputation up to 2.5 star, uh, the club reputation up to 2.5 star. Uh, key player is Nico Williams, uh, the Welshman, and he is the one on loan from Liverpool. As I said, he'll probably do the job. Um, any key players in the league? Calvin, oh my God, are you kidding? Calvin went to Southampton? And then he got relegated back to the championship. Oh, I bet he would be kicking himself in real life. Uh, not staying with Leeds, but so be it. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> Especially after just watching him make his uh, debut for England uh, yesterday. Do we have anybody in here? Jamie Shackleton, I like him. Costa Williams, okay, that's the guy from uh, Liverpool. And Harvey White, and he is on loan from Tottenham. So both premier level guys, uh, the main guys that we have there. So let's get into it. Uh, taking a look at the schedule. Uh, we beat, uh, we lost to Rangers 5-2. to two. There we go. Uh, George Williams, the recently departed George Williams and Aaron Collins with the goals. We beat Dundee 4-0. Elliot Freer, uh, Ethan Galbraith, who has also left. Ashley Hunter with a brace. Then we uh, lost to Celtic, not badly, 1-0 uh, on a penalty. So we played them well. Those, uh, those two were money-making games. I think we got $150,000 each. Uh, then we went into our, our you know, tune-ups. 9-0 win over B&T. Uh, you can see the list there. Cameron Pring was sent off. And then another 9-0 win over Shortwood, uh, again, with the list. Janiel Bennett with a hat trick. Bishop's Cle uh, Cleave, 5-0 win. Uh, Ferrand Rawson with four goals. That was nice. And so we open up with Watford away. So we'll be right back for that. All right. Well, you know, typical transfer. The epi the video went long, so we're going to just do one match today. Uh, we're opening up against Watford. They're picked to finish second. So we're probably going to get drilled. There is a gale. That's nice. Welcome to the championship. We're going to play in a gale. Uh we're playing in our blue camo. Um, I did make a suggestion over at the SI forums a couple of weeks ago, but I thought it would be neat if we had uh, uh, some say-so in kit design. Nothing fancy. I mean, it doesn't have to be blown out, but, you know, where you could pick, like, colors and, you know, d you know designs and maybe get a couple of different bids from from people and you could choose which one you wanted to take and you know things of that nature but um anyway at least the kit color would be interesting because it's one of the things that you know we don't really see in america because all of our sport teams 
pretty much consistent uniform uh, kits or uniforms. Uh, but I have noticed over the you know the last few years of really dialing in and following leads and watching not just leads but other clubs is is kit release day is insane and people go nuts over it. So anyway, take a picture of that. Probably the highest will be in the table all year. Uh, we are heavy underdogs. Um, I am tempted. I am tempted to go with this tactic here. This is the tactic that we played uh, early last year when we weren't sure how we were going to do. Uh, so, and we have to have that one player, and our use system is not good enough to develop one, so we're going to have to go with six subs on the bench. You know what I could do? I could take off Trafford, and then we could put on, let's see, defensive center mid Collins on the bench how crazy does that look and he's injured I've listed him for loan what about I may not be able to put him on though one two three four five yeah maximum of five loan players so it would have to be somebody other well we could bring on Janiel Bennett see how that goes all right well that's what we'll do lacking match sharpness yeah we've got that i thought i already did this oh nico's the new guy last guy we brought in so we had not given him a number yet all right so let's get up to the dressing room and we're going to give everybody the faith speech you know, you like a lot of greenage in that first match. And hopefully we just don't get obliterated off the field. Well, that's a positive start. We're 10 minutes in and nobody made a shot. All right, looks like a foul there. No card. Does set up a free kick. White. Oh, he puts it on target, but it is saved. All right, that's right. We're in the blue. The blue looks weird. I'm so used to the green. And not sure that guy's name, but boy, he, uh, he certainly looked faster than any of our players. All right, there we go. Oh, um... Let me check something. Yeah, everybody's central defender, so we're all right. Just wanted to make sure with the uh, start to the season that I hadn't done anything else. Let's get creative. All right, they're inspired. Our goalkeeper's composed. A little complacency already in the 40th minute for them, but now they're nervous. They're like, oh, my God, it's halftime, and we're not winning. All right, Richie or Reese. Put in. Oh, come on, boys. Got to do a little bit better job. All right. Well, possession-wise, we looked good. We're not shooting very well. I'm going to say we've done really well to, to date or to this point of the match. White with another set piece, and it goes wide. It is knocked away, sets up a corner. I was really happy to get a couple of these lone guys back like White just to, you know, have some continuity. All right, we had a little pressure there. That was interesting. All right, here's a counter opportunity up into the midfield. Shot, oh, easy save for O'Malley. All right, let's get creative here in the early going. Building from the back. They work it around the striker. There's a, one of our new guys making his debut today. Into white. Uh, that was not good. Hello. Yep, that was bad. Come on, fellas. 
Oh, he shoots wide of the mark. Uh, we are going to... Uh, yeah, let me demand more. Hello? I want to demand more, please. Hello? No? Yes, demand more. Thank you. All right, Rawson is pressured. Um, all right, Ida's not playing well. Let's bring in Aaron Collins. That's weird being able to bring our leading striker off the bench, or at least our leading striker from past years, right? Let's give Dominic Ball his debut. We'll bring him in for Pilge. See how some of these guys play. If if I you know if I have my way, I think I'm going to uh, demand more. Okay, here we go. White, come on. Oh, it's in the net. And White with the tactical strike. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's slow the pace down by the keeper. Start looking for that. That was a brilliant shot. Oh, top bins. Uh, I think I'm probably, I've got enough players that are, you know, equal in talent that I believe, let's tell them to tighten up here. Oh, I can't. Yep, there we go. Tighten up. Three minutes. Are we going to steal an opening day match? And we do. Yeah, they outplayed us. We ended up with the possession advantage, but we... We got the job done. I am really impressed. Way to go, boys. Way to go. We're going to be passionate. Oh, I'm just like slabber. No, that was really special. Just slobbering all over myself. All right. Well, that's interesting. I, I said take a picture that seventh would be as high as we would be, and it's it probably will be. Let's come back for... Uh, Let's come back end of August for Middlesbrough and Nottingham Forest. I was going to come back for Hull, but we'll do that. Let's see. Who do we end with? Luton, Rotherham. We could probably do Leeds down there rather than the first go-round. That'll be at Ellen Road. It's going to look funny playing in... What is the... Uh... Is there a minimum stadium size? General competition rules. I think it's down here. Minimum stadium capacity, 5,000. Minimum seating is 2,000. 5,000 and 2,000. Pretty sure we have that. 2,000 seated, so we're barely there. And we're 5,012, so we're just over that. So they're not going to be forced to expand the stadium. That is too bad. Oh, well. Um, yeah, nothing. I, I've asked for a lot. They haven't done anything. So what I'm hopeful of is... We've got 1.1 million, almost 1.2 uh, in the bank. I don't know why it's showing a negative here, but it is. Um, we've already made 1.5 just off of one match, right? Gate receipts, 64 season tickets. So I am hopeful. Oh. That was last month, so we're going to actually go from 500,000 in the red, so we're going to have 1.6 million. Yep, that's where that's coming from. Uh, I don't know what we'll actually make a month, but you know, with the TV revenue, the match revenue, especially with some of the away games, if we if we get a cut of that, which I don't know, I don't know if we get a cut of that or not. Anyway, a lot of things to think about. I wanted to keep the the payroll as low as possible because I still want to get this profitability as high as I can, get some money in the bank to where we can develop our training, our youth facilities, because that's going to be key. I mean, we've got to be able to train these two and two and a half star guys up to their four and five star potential. And we've got to improve our youth to where we have guys that are better than three star uh, coming into our youth academy. So, you know, it's just, I know it's going to be a long-term process 
Uh, it probably would benefit us to be in the championship for a while, you know, but at the end of the day, I really hate the championship because they're corrupt and I want to get out of it and go to the Premier League uh, where there's real money to be made. And uh, <laughs> and then trying to get that balance up is not a big deal. All right, so Nico Williams, White, uh, he looked good, one goal. Guys, we will see you next episode. Thank you so much. Sorry it went a little long. Typical transfer videos. Uh, but we had a lot of moves, so we had a lot of deals this year. And uh, we'll see you next episode. Like button, notification bell, subscribe. You know how it goes. See ya. Bye.